Crimson Nation, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of this week's Harvard Top Plays of the Week. I'm Connor Coyne, but you already know that by now. So we're gonna get into it. Number seven, men's lacrosse. At number seven, we've got men's lacrosse. Against Michigan sophomore attack, Sam King unleashed a vicious 360 jump to dodge the Michigan defender before firing a beauty of a shot to go top left corner to score his first goal of the game. At number six, women's lacrosse. Junior Hallie Hem, the Ivy League Offensive Player of the Week, scored a team high four goals on the day against Holy Cross. Her last goal came within one minute left of the game, securing a 15-12 win against Holy Cross, which is the Crimson's first one of the season. Coming in at number five, women's basketball. In a tight matchup against Columbia in the Ivy Madness semifinals, Mackenzie Forbes saw an opportunity to widen the Crimson lead with a step back three-pointer with less than two minutes to play. She brought Harvard's lead to five and would later score the final layup of the game, securing the victory for the Crimson. You can catch Mackenzie Forbes and the rest of the women's basketball team tonight at home in Levites for the first round of the WNIT tournament against Towson. Coming in at number four, men's ice hockey. In the third period of the ECAC quarterfinals against Princeton, senior captain Henry Thrun forced a turnover in the neutral zone. Thrun skating up the ice instead of shooting it decides to drop a backhanded pass to Merrick Hayduke who scores an open net goal. The Crimson later would go on to win 6-1 in advance of the ECAC semifinals where they will play Cornell and Lake Placid. At number three, women's track and field. Maya Ramson hung back in the mile and waited till the last 400 meters to surpass all competition to secure her fifth place and first team All-American finish at the NCAA championships. Coming in at number two, fencing. The Crimson competed in the NCAA Regionals last Sunday where they qualified 14 fencers for the NCAA Championships. Eight fencers won medals in their respective events. Emily Vermeule, Elizabeth Tartakovsky, and Jonas Hansen all won gold. Coming in at number one, men's Nordic skiing. In the 20 kilometer event at the NCAA Championship, Olympian and world champion Remy Drolet was out with an early lead, setting the pace for the rest of his competition. In the final lap of the race, a Dartmouth skier pulled a gutsy move to give him the lead and put distance between him and Drolet. Coming up on the finish line, Drolet makes a counter move on the inside track to regain the lead before heading into the last downhill. Remy hits the final turn with nobody in sight, crossing the finish line at 54 minutes, 54 seconds, six milliseconds to give him the win at the men's 20 kilometer race at the NCAA Skiing Championship. And that's it for this episode of Harvard Top Plays of the Week. I'm Connor Coyne, and don't forget, you can watch the women's basketball team take on Towson tonight at Levites in the first round of the WNIT. You know the drill. Follow us Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. You know where to find us, and let's go Crimson.